Hey everyone, it's Scott with Great Mac Relief. Today on Maintenance Monday, I'm going to walk you through the process of flushing out your tankless hot water heater. This is something that should be done on an annual basis, and then that way it helps reduce the scale that builds up from the minerals in the water. These things get really, really hot, and the minerals will create scale on the inside of your unit and cause it to just not function properly. And if you take care of your unit, it will last a very long time. Oh. So the process for this is you get a pump and then you get two hoses. And so the very first thing you want to do is turn the unit off and then turn off the gas valve here. And so what you want to do is turn off your quarter turn valves here. What this does is it stops water flow from getting into the unit. And then at that point we will shut off these valves or open up these valves. And what these valves do here, the service valves, they allow you to put water into the unit from the service port here. And so you will open this up you can take this off you will connect your hose here and i'll show you guys how to do that in just a minute and then open up this port next thing we're going to do is connect our hoses all right guys so as you can see we've got our hoses connected now we have a blue hose connected to our cold water and then we have our red hose connected to our hot water out so this would be the normally where the hot water goes into the house so what is going to happen is we're going to put vinegar in our bucket below turn on the pump and then vinegar will pump through the blue hose up into our unit and then we'll come out into our red hose down into our bucket. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So you guys can see that we have a submersible pump here and this is where the pump is going to pump the vinegar up into the unit and then what's gone through the unit will come back down into this red hose. So what we're going to do is take our vinegar, fill up our bucket and then we're going to plug her in. All right everyone, so we have now filled up our bucket full of vinegar to the top of the pump here. What we're going to do is set up a time lapse and see how the water color changes and then we'll just let it run for a while and we'll let it run until the water stops changing colors. So let's plug in our pump. All right guys, so I've got my special helper here with me and he says it's now time to shut everything down. So you can see the water is blue and so at this point we were in about 30 or 40 minutes and so we are going to empty out the vinegar put it back in the bottle we're going to put fresh water in let it run through a few more times and then that way it cleans out all the vinegar out of the pump and then kind of flushes the system out and then at that point once we've done that we're going to go back up here we're going to disconnect our hoses close our service ports or sorry our service valves and then open up our supply lines and then turn the gas back on, which you guys can see the, the gas valve is turned back on. And so at that point, you're going to be ready to go with your system. Put everything back and turn it back on. And you got your system good for another year. Alright guys, one more thing to check after you've done your flush is the screen or the little filter in this. So you don't have to check this every single year, but you need to check it every few years. And so. In my unit, this is Renai unit, <clears throat> the filter's right here. So what you do is you unscrew this, and you probably need a tool to do that, but you unscrew it and then pull it out, and then you'll see that there's a small screen right here, and there's little small particles on there. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take it, put it down in the water that I've already used to flush my pump with, and sometimes you have to bang it around a little bit, but then get all the things off the screen. You can also use a small brush to do it. And it will clean out all these little particles and then you take it once it's nice and clean and just put it back in and tighten it back down. And then that is how you do your entire system. Let me know if you have any questions.